Marco plays those games. Hello, my great friends. Sorry for my English as usual. This evening, I would like to show you a really interesting feature of the MS DOS uh, version 6, that is the menu item. Uh, that permit you to choose different configurations regarding the two system files config.sys and autoexec.bat directly on the boot of your MS-DOS PC here you can see the four configurations that I prepared yesterday uh, I have still to tune them is only to, to show you uh, the first one that I call default is my complete configuration so with all the drivers, the CD-ROM, uh, mouse, the sound blaster and uh, I used for this configuration the QEMM uh, memory manager uh, that is better than the EMM 386 of the, of the DOS that permit you to, to have uh, um, more conventional memory than uh, the EMM considering that this is my complete configuration so there are a lot of drivers as I said before the CD-ROM, the mouse and, and we have a lot of uh, conventional memory um, and there are some DOS games that requires a lot uh, a lot of conventional memory so the QEMM is uh, a very a very good manager uh, Anyway, I would like to show you how to prepare or how to configure the menu. Uh, it's very easy, you have only to, to set at the beginning of the config.sys the menu item, so right here menu and then define the menu item here, that are the name or that you choose for your configurations, for your different configurations. And after that here you can... Uh, uh, define the, the common line, the lines that are shared with all your configurations, okay? It's not mandatory that, but uh, you, you can also uh, write these lines on, on the on, on all the configurations, but if you are able to define uh, to, to find what are the, the common lines, you can insert them here, okay? And avoid to write them again then after the common you can start from your uh, different configurations so the first one is the default as you can see here there is a lot of line regarding the QEM ham and uh, here there is the second one I mem where I removed the, the expanded memory manager uh, and is the other last two uh, configuration that I have inserted. As I said before, uh, I have to tune uh, this configuration. Anyway, now we can pass to the auto exec dot bat. Okay, my friends, the auto exec dot bat refers to the config dot sys to have different configurations. So the first part here is the common one. So the lines that are shared with, for all the configurations after that uh, to, to um, create the uh, different uh, configuration on the autoexec.bat you have to write go to percent config percent okay and then you start with the uh, first one that I call default okay here so two points default and then insert the lines regarding only that configurations at the end of the default you have to write also go to end obviously you set the end at the end okay of the file because otherwise in the auto exec dot but uh, it will pass to the uh, to these other lines so uh, you you uh, could not uh, divide the different configurations here there is the second as you can see there are a lot of shared command lines for the auto exec dot but in my configurations anyway there are some different things from, from a configurations to another 
So my friend, this this feature is is really uh, useful because uh, some games needed expanded memory. Some games are not compatible with expanded memory. Maybe some games are not compatible with the QEMM. Uh, and uh, making a menu permit you to be fast in choose the configurations, uh, perfect configuration for the game that you want to play. Okay, uh, without uh, preparing uh, flo system floppy bootable or without editing uh, every time directly your auto exec and your config uh, in the, in on the hard disk. So with the menu, it's very, it's very, it's very useful. Marco plays those games.